Welcome to OMS News. Our fundraiser has begun. The first turn-in will take place on Thursday, September 16th. You don't want to miss out on all the fun activities. One order will be cool concessions, three orders is balloon toss, six orders is puffer ball for prizes, for ten orders win a Best Buy gift card, and for thirteen orders you can earn money in the cash cage. Don't forget, orders turned in on the first turn-in will count double toward, the, toward wall chart prices. We'll see you before school on Thursday, September 16th to collect your orders. Reminder to all fellow learners, if you are expecting something from your parents in the office, please come down to check between classes. We will not be all calling during the day. Any students in sixth grade interested in attending the babysitting clinic, please stop in the office for information. And now to the FFA report. Um, Mr. Hanks, uh, could you tell us some, like, some stuff about FFA? Like, what, what is FFA and like, what is it about? Okay, what do you do? good question to start with, Aaron. Uh, first of all, you know, the basis of FFA is for those students that are interested in agriculture, both farm and non-farm students, okay? So it's not just about people that produce food, it's about people that, uh, you know, process it and, and serve it and, and are natural resources. Okay, that's what agriculture is. And that's why we have this group. It just gives the students a chance to explore a little bit bit more about what they can do in the whole field of agriculture. Okay, um, could you tell us like how long have like, you been in FFA? Okay. And, like, you oh, when I was in FFA in high school uh, in Ellsworth, Wisconsin, uh, I was in there pretty much my four years. Okay, now I've been an FFA advisor for those last 32 years. Okay, so I've been, it's been part of my life just like you know, students have always been part of my life, school, you know, schooling, teaching, you know. So it's been around, it's changed. I used to have a lot of students that came from the farm. Now I have more students that, you know, help out, but they don't necessarily come from the farm themselves. Um, like, when, when did you join a family? Yeah. Well, first of all, the students here at uh, OMS can join when they're in seventh grade, all right? And, uh, and then they can join when they're eighth grade in the course throughout their high school years. So uh, that's when they can sign up and, and participate. And uh, a lot of the activities we do, at Aaron, is right after school, or some of them are on weekends. And uh, we know that sometimes the students have conflicts from sports and that. But we also understand that if we wait and have it later, let's say 7 o'clock at night, a lot of students can't get a ride back in. So we try to have it when most students are available. Um, what, what was some of the stuff that you would like to improve in FFA? Improve? Always continuing, you know, do different activities. You know, we do over 50 activities each year that students can participate. So we'd like to keep on, you know, making new and improved activities. Like last year we went to a Badger hockey game instead of the Milwaukee Bucks game. So we, we try to keep changing some of the activities to make it more appealing to the students that might want to join. Uh, what kind of students could like do well in FFA and why? Okay. Well, I've had students that live in town, the country, you know, it, all over, you know, girls, boys, you know, in case you didn't know, girls were not allowed to join the FFA until 1969. So, here's, you know, we opened up, you know, five out of our six officers are girls this year. So, they're a very important part of our FFA. And uh, so it's not just one focus group of people milking cows or running plows, okay? It's, it's everybody interested in agriculture. Thank you. Have a good Wednesday.